Hmm, how should how should I do this? Maybe I should move this clip here and then. Oh, sorry guys, I was doing a bit of video editing. Um, I have reviewed quite a number of uh, video editing software in my channel, but in this video, I'll be adding another one to the list, and which is among the top notch, I would say, among the best ones that you can try. It's called Flex Clip, and uh, let's go. Right, before I go further, I just want to tell you to watch this video towards the end because I will be giving out freebies sponsored by Flexclip so you perhaps want to know how to redeem it later. So go to flexclip.com and you will be seeing this landing page with all the information about the tool and go on and sign up for free. You don't need credit card to sign up and confirm your email in order to log in. So I'm going to log in. So once you log into your account, after confirming your email, you will be seeing this dashboard. You will have the menu on the left panel, and then you will have all these templates nicely given to you on the front page of your dash dashboard. So you can search immediately if you want to. Uh, but let me go through with you some of the um, tab that you have here. You have home. Home is basically the dashboard front page. And then you have project. If you have started anything, you will see it here at the moment it's blank for my case because you know we're going to start from zero together you have favorite if you have any template that you like you can just favorite it and it will be safe here then you have a collection of stock videos that you can find uh, sorted according to category you have business background and so on so you can or you can search right uh, whichever that suits your needs let's say if i were to go to background i will just have some nice background that i can use in my video right so yeah or you can just search here that you know whatever keywords that you would like to uh to find if you are subscribed to the plans the three plans that they have basic uh, plus and also business uh, the plans and then you will be having two additional uh, features here cloud storage uh, depending on your plan then you have different sizes and then the font you can actually upload your your font uh, for the use okay so these are the uh, premium i would say premium features uh, if you are using the free account uh, you don't have this too right so feel free to explore the features first and then you can decide whether you want to go for basic plus or business plans um, which again don't forget to watch until the end of this video because i'm going to give you out some discount uh, code for you to redeem uh, the plans all right so let's move on let's uh, start from scratch here and once you click start from scratch you have two choices here timeline mode and storyboard mode for those who are familiar with the timeline mode the typical editing uh, software kind of usage where you have the time given down there uh, then you will go for timeline mode if you prefer something very simple the storyboard mode will be useful so it's like um you know thumbnail of the the, uh, the content or the video and then you just add on the features needed so this is more uh, suitable for those who do not want complicated editing so you can go for storyboard mode and those who are more familiar with the timeline mode if you want to adjust uh, more uh, you know more features within the timeline then you can go for this one i prefer timeline mode so depending on your choice just choose one and you have also the sizes depending on what type of video you want to create so 69 will be the typical widescreen video that you have on youtube and so on you can also do the story type you know video like 916 here or it can be a square one for instagram for different uh, platform you have 45 21 9 and so on so let's go for the standard 69 and can then go for timeline mode so once you load the mode that you have chosen you will be seeing this interface and um, you will be prompted as well with a pop-up asking you to go through certain tutorials so you might want to go through that in my case i skipped that uh, earlier so you might want to name your project as well let's say this is um, something about online learning so i'm going to type online learning now okay so on your lab panel you can explore here you have uh, you know different categories or materials or elements that you can include in your videos you have templates you have media you have text video photo music elements overlay background and branding so depending on your plans uh, all this category of materials or elements uh, may not be fully available to you so because you know some are premium uh, or based on the plans that you have chosen but for those of you who are using the free trial 
on the free account you can try those free ones first right so once you're happy with it then you can upgrade all right so let's let's try and make one video so i'm gonna go for maybe just choose from the most popular one here right so let's let's go for this one this looks nice so for this template you have eight pages or eight types of um, design that you can choose and you can see here the down the timeline at the bottom here it has this default uh, scene which you can delete later so let's say i add this to my scene so i just click add scene so you will see this is added turn around i can delete this uh, blank one so i can have this uh, done and if you need to add more scene you can just click another one and maybe add another one and so on so depending on your creativity or your content itself you can keep adding right and you will see the uh, timeline expanded according to the length of the or the duration of the uh, template content the video right so if it's six seconds then it will go six sec seconds if you need it to be longer you might want to drag it right you can drag it or uh, cut it right depending on how long you want it to be shown right and let's try and you know see how it looks like first before we do further editing so let's play this and you can see it's six seconds and then and so on right pretty nice i mean if you were to do this manually it will take ages right so all you have to do is to just change the content so yeah just type whatever you want here let's say online running is a bit too big so i need to shrink it a bit later so just enter down uh yeah just shrink the size of it right and this one is all so maybe online learning the top 10 benefit let's say you're gonna do a video on the top 10 benefits of online learning okay and this one maybe not your company maybe just let's get started or something right so depending on how you want to do it so as you can see at the, the moment you type any text content you can change the font type here right and you have a color choice if you prefer other colors you can just change so make sure it's contrast right you have also background color if you want it to be having some shades of background then you have the format alignment line height and everything you can adjust accordingly spacing and then you can also do the uh, the style right pretty pretty straightforward nothing really fancy on this i mean it's not that complicated so you you do it according to your preference right so i'm going to go for the next uh, part now so i can do further you know uh, editing on the content so you can further edit them so you can change all this as well if you don't need them you can just right click and delete right if you need to copy certain element you can uh, uh you know copy and then duplicate or you can see here you can also replace it with other medias here right so let's say i want to add something here so i can go to media upload my own video either from local file from uh from from my phone or even recording right record screen okay so if i want to record then it will ask me whether i want to do screen plus webcam or screen only or webcam only so pretty handy you can do this quite easily without having additional software right then you have text you can have some nicely formatted um, you know animated text let's say maybe i add this one in right so i can have it here you can see the additional element the additional element are added on top so that it won't disturb the existing material so you can put it down here and then change the content or change the the text for example and you can even change the click on the content i mean the element and then you can shrink the, the duration to show so let, let's let's play this right right so pretty handy so if you think it's too fast then you just drag it longer okay of course this is this is like uh, covering the content down back there so but i'm just showing you that you can add other things so, so you also have some stock videos that you can use in between your scenes for example you can add like you know additional stock video to kind of amplify your, your content let me just search online learning maybe Yeah, 
So I have some. Again, this depends on your plan, right? It depends on your plans because uh, your plan will will determine the type of video that you can use. Some are not available for the free account. So yeah. So I'm gonna add this to timeline, and you can see it's added. Oh, it's a bit too. Maybe it's a bit too long, so you can't. Uh, you know cut this uh, video or string this video or if it's yeah by the way if the timeline is a bit too uh, too long for you you might want to zoom out so you can use this to zoom out so that it looks better for you so again just drag this shorter so that it's not that long or not taking up too long of your video right so yeah pretty handy and then you have photos same thing uh, music you can add music here so let's say I'm gonna add this maybe happy music to the timeline so I have happy music here, right? So if I put the play now, yeah, pretty cool. I mean the music. Um, then you can sort this music according to the mood that you want, right? And also the genre. So you have ambient, you have blues, blah blah blah. So depending on your choice. So elements. It also comes with elements that you can add to your video. Quite a lot of elements here. So let's say, um, yeah, you have to go to the the kind of time frame that you want the elements to appear like here now I can just add this one so it will appear here so you can do adjustment in terms of the the, the size and everything or the positioning and if you were to play this, yeah you can see like the, the elements is added on to you so yep so you can find all this element anything which is quite useful for you you just add on to your content you have overlays as well which is pretty hand handy for branding Right, so if you want some overlay, let's say you want to have like uh, additional overlay on on this page, you can just use it, add it. Like, like just to show you one second. Yeah, it's useful for videos like like this one just now. Maybe I'll add it here for you to see. Yep. So you can type your text here, right? Yep. Very easy to use, and you know you can just modify the text according to your video. Okay, so yeah, background as shown just now. You have photo type or you have video background. So video, you can you know put it on your on your uh, whole video, and then branding, right? Branding it will appear on your your video. But I think this is only for the the plans, the, the subscribe plans, right? You don't you don't get it for your free plans. Yep. So so keep on adding the scene if you want to. Alright, so if it's blank, then you can also record your voice or record your, um, um, how to put it, your, your webcam. But you need to allow it, like, like you can see here, allow the browser to use your, your uh, microphone. Like if I were to click it now, I just have to hold it and then I can talk and it will be uh, recorded to the, for, for this one, right? So if I were to play this, just have to hold it. For audio, for any audio music and all that, so you can just click on it and you can adjust the volume here, right? So you can tone down the volume. So if you need to do editing by, you know, like frame by frame, you can split them, right? You can split them. So you can kind of maybe this one louder, this one is softer. So you can play around with the volume for after splitting it. Same thing with the video. You can split them, right? Uh, you know, cut them out so that you can do more editing so every scene between scenes or between videos you have this transition if you see this tab in between so they have a very nice collection of transition so you can just add on right to to the transition just click on the, the part that you want the transition to happen and add them in right so let's say I will play from here Yep, so very nice and appealing kind of transition, which you don't really need to have some complicated um, editing, you know, like just click drag and drop and then you can make use of all this nice transition. So click on that, right? If you need to change, there's just a deep transition and then you'll be able to, to change. And you also get the choice to, um, you know, decide the length of the duration, how long do you want it to be. Yep, so they have a huge collection of transition here. Okay, so if you need to do any other thing on the video itself, if you click on the video, you will have filter, right? This is like playing around with the coloring, you know, uh, the brightness and sharpness and all that. 
you have adjust in terms of the exposure manually if you want to you have the speed you can speed it up maybe certain video you want it to be longer so you can speed it up or you can trim right and when, once you click trim you get to decide which part do you want to trim it okay. once you're done with the editing or the creation you just click export for free account user you can export using 480p quality um, and only up to one minute for a basic account you can choose 720 for plus account and business account you can upload in high high quality 1080p so you can uh, decide uh, how you want to export it so i'm going to export it and wait for it to complete so once the export is successful you'll be automatically downloaded or you can click download to download right and you also get to copy the link right you can you can activate or disable it but by doing this you actually do not have to kind of like uh, reshare it you can just use this link directly like this one you can immediately play the, the, the video directly from this platform so you don't have to like download and export it some elsewhere right and um, you can get the embed code if you would like to embed it elsewhere so you can also share to other social like youtube dropbox and uh, google drive if you want to all right here's the time for the freebies right so i have three annual plus accounts to be given away and i do not want to complicate things all you have to do is to leave comment down here down there right in this uh, comment section down there um give me one reason why flex clip would be useful in helping you in editing your videos right one reason only so the three lucky winners will be chosen and you will be contacted for the annual plan discount code so don't miss this three annual plus account and also for the rest of you if you like to try i also have a coupon code down here where you can use it to sign up for flex clip and you will get 25 percent discount on you know uh, that you can use in signing up for the premium access okay so um i hope you really take this opportunity to try flex clip because i myself have uh, enjoyed the uh, process of creating videos using it and i'm sure you'll be falling in love with this tool after trying it so that's it happy trying and don't forget to comment down there to get your free annual flex clip account see you in the next video